Hello, it's November and it's a little bit colder and a little bit darker, but we're still knitting. I'm Susie Cowper of Tea Cozy Folk and this is the November vlog. I've got this Tea Cozy to show you. This is my dressage horse Tea Cozy. Look, my snooty horse. Do you think that looks a little bit like Princess Anne on the horse? didn't make it to look like Princess Anne, but that's what she reminds me of. This tea cozy is on the website already, so you can buy the pattern. Download it and knit it yourself. I love it. I just love the little head. It's so cute, isn't it? I do love the horse. And um, yeah, so you can download the pattern and knit one for yourself. That's the dress shards. I'm just going to stop there. I found a way of making Terry's chocolate orange cozies more funky and even sweeter. Look, now this is a three treat Terry's chocolate orange cozy, and it's three treats because there's the Terry's chocolate orange, there's candy canes, and there's Lindell chocolate as well. And it's all on one little cozy. So, and they the candy canes look like little antlers, don't they? So there's a little Rudolph and there's a Santa on his sleigh. I love the googly eyes. They're just so comical, aren't they? And they never seem to fall the right way. So they always look a bit uh, boggly. And this one, the, the sleigh is made with the candy canes and Santa's tummy is the Lindell chocolate. But they're so cute. And they're dead easy to make. The pattern comes out on the 10th of November. That's this Thursday. And um, yeah, they're really easy to make. And they're such fun, aren't they? And they're great, because they've got mm, more of your favorite Christmas treats. So this is my sock update. Now, do you remember I wanted to knit with plain yarn, but a patterned sock? Well, here's my pattern sock. It's a pattern that was in the Simply Knitting magazine and it's, oh, of course it'll be that way because I'm starting at the cuff down. And, um, oh, it was inspired by fields of tulips. And if you look at the pattern, they look like little tulips, don't they? But, um, oh, do you know what? And I really wanted to make a pattern sock, but I've lost my mojo now. So I've only got that far and I've not touched it for, ages I can't remember the last time I did a few rounds and I think I'm at the heel flap part I think it was a heel flap I can't even remember but oh I've lost my mojo I need my mojo back so what I'm going to start to do is knit just I don't know five rounds a day or something and um, little and often little and often until my sock mojo comes back because you know I've got to finish this pair haven't I I can't just leave it as is and it is a pretty pattern and if you wanted to knit them I can um, I'll find out the designer and what the pattern's called but it was definitely in a simpler knitting magazine and I'll put it in the comments below so that you can go and find it as well if you like it was a really easy pattern actually there's only I think there's only four rows or six so it's really easy so you'll enjoy it i've been really excited last week because i've designed a tea cozy folk calendar and this is what the cover's going to look like but this isn't the calendar this is my sketch pad with a printout of what the front cover's going to look like but i ordered them last week and I'm expecting them to turn up this week. I'm super excited and I keep checking, you know, every time I hear the door go or anything and they're not, they're not here yet. Oh, the anticipation's killing me. But um, it's a lovely calendar and it's got pictures of tea cozies for each month. Um, there's no knitting patterns. I'm thinking maybe next year knitting pattern calendar, but um, there are special days marked throughout the calendar for um, yarn events or yarn related or tea cozy related events. So there is um, the days marked for National Hook a Sheep Day, 
the days marked for National Tea Cozy Day and there are days marked for things like the knitting and stitching show at Ali Pali, just so that you don't miss anything. Some of the months are really busy with lots of shows that you can go to. Amazing, you'll, see, you'll be gobsmacked how many shows there actually are. Or maybe you won't be, maybe you go to them all, but you won't miss one ever again. Not with the new calendar, out soon. If you join the mailing list, I'll let you know as soon as the calendars hit the website. This is a tea cozy I'm still working on. I'm in the process of knitting number two to just test out the pattern. But this is my ice skater. She's a Victorian lady in her lovely big dress and she's looking really Christmassy in her coat. And on her head, she's got a Santa hat. Look, and there's her ice skating boot. She's kind of kicking off and moving forward. Look, like this, ooh, and she's gliding along with one foot up. And that's her ice skate. I really enjoyed making her. She's so lovely. And I love Victorian eras and, you know, and the big dresses and the costume. I just love all that. And they just make such lovely tea cozies. And she looks so Christmassy. I suppose because we always think, you know, all of our Christmas traditions stem back to the Victorian era. So it does make you feel quite Christmassy. I've drawn a new sketch today of a new tea cozy. He's the Christmas tree bringer. And he's been out to choose his Christmas tree. You know, the ones that you go to a Christmas tree farm and you chop it down and and drag it back to your car and bring it home. He's kind of doing that. And um, I've kind of worked out how I'm going to knit him, you know, in his little parka coat and his little mittens. I thought I'd put little um, snowflakes on his mittens. What I've not kind of worked out is the Christmas tree. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to make that work. And because it can't stick out, you know, a wrong way behind him because it'll be a bit, oh, top heavy. So, so I've got some work to do, working out, you know, the sizing of him. Uh -huh. And finally, there's the Gamer Tea Cozy. He was put on the website, was it last week? I think it was last week. And he's the gamer and he's playing video games. And he's got his controller and it's got the little joysticks on the top. I love his hands. I just think his hands really, you know, because when they're gaming, I think the only thing you really see, you know, movement wise is their hands. So I really love that he's got big hands and these fingers and he's got his little feet and he's got messy hair because He's not worried about what he looks like. He just wants to get back to his games and he's got his earphones and he's obviously been playing games too long because his eyes are all hypnotized. So he's the gamer tea cozy and the knitting pattern is on the website. So pop along and have a look. And that's all I've got to show you for November. All I've got to show you. It does look a lot, doesn't it? When you get it all together. But um, there's lots happening for December. I'm doing more Christmas tea cozies and I've got a couple more knitting patterns that will be in the Simply Knitting magazines. So I'll let you know when they go in and show you. But, um, but for now, that's it. And I've got to go and get back to my knitting. I've got to go and finish number two and then start my new cozy. And I'm also working on a bespoke tea cozy. But I can't show you that because it's for somebody's Christmas present. But as soon as I can, I'll show you and I'll let you know. And I'll keep the pattern and then you can knit one too. I'll show you later at another date. But have a lovely November and try to keep warm. Keep knitting. See you soon. Bye.